All right. Do you get all the Jordan Love hate? He wasn't all that bad in the pre. I don't. I think Jordan Love hate is right in line with J.K. Scott hate. I think it's people hated the pick. People are mad. There's this feeling out there that if we had gotten Denzel Mims instead of Jordan Love, we would have won the Super Bowl, which is the dumbest thing I could ever imagine. Denzel Mims, first of all, probably would have been on the bench. He would have not have replaced Alan Lazard. He was not even that good last year. Um, there's nothing he could have done to contribute to win that football game. It's absolutely insane. As bad as everybody else was playing, unless he was going to come in and, and play three spots on the offensive line, play along the defensive line because we couldn't get any pressure, we couldn't protect Aaron Rodgers, he's going to play cornerback in, in place of Kevin King, who is terrible. Unless he's going to do all that, we're not going to beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It was not Jordan Love's fault. There's nobody. There's no magic pill in the first round that was going to help us win. We didn't need anybody else. We just needed the guys we had to play well, and they didn't. But it, it's the same with Rashawn Gary. Some people hate Rashawn Gary because they didn't like the pick. Some people hated J.K. Scott because they don't like think you should pick a kicker or a punter in the, in the draft. Um, and some people are going to hate Jordan Love forever because they felt like it was a bad pick. And the same with the media. It, 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 there's no reason for them to be so down on Jordan Love and treat him like he's a fourth-round pick, but they do because they just didn't like the pick. And people just can't get past that. It's, it's amazing to me how so many people have no control over their emotions and their emotions control their, their thinking. Their ability to reason rationally is governed entirely by their emotions, and that's kind of sad and pathetic, but whatever. 